In this video, I'll demonstrate how to program a spot drill to start the holes of this part. Since six holes will be machined in this shelf, I've gone ahead and added a rough and finished tool path as seen here. And I'll just slide this bar over here so they fade out and the cut lines are now hidden. I've also started and ended my half inch spot drill code as I do for all the tools. I'll program the clearance holes for the quarter sock head cap screw first, starting with the hole closest to the part zero and work my way around the part clockwise as the sub program was written here. So next I'll enter the XY hole center coordinates here for the first hole of X.375 and Y minus 0.25. Then I'll come down here after the height offset line and I'll program the can cycle line. When I program the depth of cut, I'll be sure to go deep enough to leave a 25 thou chamfer. For these holes, the tool will not touch the material until it is at negative 0.5 here. So the spot drill depth will need to be calculated from this Z level. And I'll also code to call up the sub program. So how does this cycle work? First, I should mention that the X and Y location for the first hole here could be included in the G82 line. If these coordinates are not included in the G82 line, as is this case, the fixed cycle will be executed at the machine's current location, wherever that may be. The G98 will ensure the tool moves from hole to hole at the previous Z level, in this case 0.1. The G82 cycle will feed the tool from the R plane, negative 0.4, at 20 inches per minute to the depth programmed here, in this case negative 0.744. There it will dwell for 0 0.015 of a second or one full revolution, at which point it will wrap it back out of the hole to the previous Z level of Z0.1. Next the subprogram line will be read and the information within the sub program will be executed, meaning this drilling cycle will be repeated for all X and Y locations given here until it sees the M99, which will have the machine jump back to the line immediately after the sub program call. And here, the G80 will cancel the drilling cycle. So now I'll refresh and then run the simulation. When the simulation was running, it can be seen that the first hole was drilled twice. This is because the X and Y hole locations were programmed twice. Once in the sub program here, and once in the main program here. There are two ways to prevent this. One is to remove the coordinates from the sub program. I'll do that, run the simulation again. Now the first hole is only cut once. The second way to prevent this hole from being drilled twice is to add an L0 to the end of the G82 line. I'll put the X and Y location back into the subprogram and add the L0. Then I'll refresh the plot and run it again. Again, this has ensured the first hole is not drilled twice. The L0 command prevents the CAN cycle from being executed on the line where it is coded. In the next video, I'll add the NPT tapped holes and the quarter inch dream holes to the G82 cycle. I'll also alter the R and Z values as required and switch between G98 and G99 to decrease the cycle time.